Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. With nearly 260 fighter jets in its inventory, Su-30 MKI forms the backbone of Indian Air Force. Once a dominant force, the aircraft needs several upgrades to make it battle ready for present and future warfare. Therefore, the Super Sukhoi program was envisioned to upgrade the fighter jet with latest equipments, avionics and sensors. However, the program has faced several challenges from huge cost of upgrade to Russia-Ukraine war. From what it seems, Indian Air Force is following a staggered approach to upgrade Su-30 MKI rather than Big Bang 1. In today's video, we are not going to discuss about what has been proposed earlier as a part of Super Sukhoi upgrade, but we will discuss on the components and the parts which are being upgraded and will be upgraded realistically in next few years. In May 2018, the Defense Equation Council has accorded approval for undertaking design and development of long-range dual-band infrared imaging search and track system for Su-30 MKI aircraft under MiG-2 subcategory and subsequently for procurement of at least 100 IRSTs under by indian IDDM category. In April 2022, HL and BL signed a contract for co-development and co-production of long-range dual-band indigenous infrared search and track system for Su-30 MKI. The proposed IRSC system will be a high-end strategic technology product and will feature television day camera, infrared and laser sensors in a single window for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground target tracking and localization. It will be superior than the existing Russian IRST on Su-30 MKI. The design and development of IRST may take another two years. The new IRST will further enhance the long-range passive attack capabilities of Su-30 MKI and guide the infrared missiles. AAC radar is going to be the most important upgrade for Su-30 MKI. After the successful completion of Uttam AAC radar program on 26th August 2022, the DIDO has formally completed the transfer of technology for the production of Uttam radar to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The Uttam AAC radar is being developed for Su-30 MKI is going to be gallium arsenide semiconductor based and will have much large number of TR modules due to the larger diameter of Su-30 MKI's nose cone. It is expected to feature nearly 1600 TR modules. It's also important to note that Defense Ministry has placed the import of radar systems on the negative list. After LCA Mark 1A, Su-30 MKI and MiG-29 will be integrated with Uttam AC radar. The process of integration of Uttam on these platforms will begin after 2025. The next component is DIDO's ASPJ, which is being developed on gallium nitride based solid state AASA jammer transmitters. ASPJ is based on active phased array ultra wide band DRFM, that is digital radio frequency memory, and inbuilt cooling system. The DRFM jammers are famous for their capability to severely degrade the adversary's radar and missile seekers. ASPJ can even take input from Dhruti RWR and jam the source of RF signal. Cooling system is yet another important component of ASPJ which was earlier imported but now has been developed completely indigenous. The ASPJ design for Su-30 MKI is a potted jammer which will be installed on the wingtip stations 11 and 12 in LH and RH configuration as a set. As per latest update from DRDO, the development of pod structure is complete and it is undergoing the qualification. The next upgrade which is already in its midway is Dhruti RWR. Back in August 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is going ahead with Rs 1000 crore project for upgrade of RWR for the fleet of 125 Su-30 MKIs. Again, on 23rd March 2023, Embody signed a contract with BEL 
which amounts to approximately 950 crore rupees for 129 dhuti dr 118 rwr for su30 mki dhuti dr 118 is a six channel next generation digital radar warning receiver designed and developed for installation on any fighter jet transport aircraft or helicopters it intercepts and identifies airborne shipborne and ground based acquisition target tracking and missile guidance radars up to the j band frequencies the identified emitters which is radars are indicated to the air crew by displaying corresponding set of symbols on the corresponding multifunctional display in the cockpit a synthesized audio warning is also provided to air crew at the birth of each emitting source the next upgrade is regarding the x guard to decoy in air force has also planned the integration of x guard to decoy solution which will help su30 mki in defeating advanced target tracking radar including monopole and low on receive only radar types indian rafals are also equipped with x guard fiber optic to decoy the low drag and lightweight x guard can be used in all operational missions in counter air to air and surface to air missiles it is stored behind the fighter aircraft and is deployable and retractable in the mid flight x guard can be deployed either when aircraft approaches a threatened area or upon detection of an imminent threat the decoy can be integrated with electronic warfare suite of any platform as a high value active suite component In the retraction phase the decoy is returned to its position under aircraft's wing and reconnected with the pylon This was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector